Okay, well, I like one take, one take. Um, <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna make a part three. Next time I'll have to think about things more before I'm just like uploading them. I was watching the part where I was talking about the system and I, I know that the system is different because of experiences I've had through my job working in behavioral health, working in the same building that I had visitations with my family. I had to go to a training for trauma-informed care and it was about children in foster care and it showed two children, a brother and a sister, who were separated without being able to say goodbye. And I felt like I was in a dream. It did not, it felt so surreal. Like, this is what happened to me. And I'm looking around and all of these coworkers of mine are crying and everyone's like really emotional into it because it was like a really powerful story. And I'm just sitting there like, none of these people around me know like this happened to me. And I'm just like, I didn't like know what to do or say. I did look over at my one, she was still a close friend of mine. And I was just like, this happened to me. And the same thing happened to me when I was doing the ACE score. Look up what an ACE score is. And it's like how to rank people who have trauma. And I'm at a training and I'm like going through the list. And there's this powerful speaker who is there. Like she had me crying. She was a seven and I'm like looking at this piece of paper realizing I'm a 10. I was just like, I'm a 10, I'm a 10, but really I'm a 10. So I was just like, there's so many things throughout my career that help me mo understand more about myself. And I think really there are a lot of people in the system that are trying and they care. And I don't ever want it to seem like when I'm talking about my experience working with the system that I'm just like, I'm not, there's so many good parts that I've seen too. And people who honestly, like we get really burnt out in this field. Like there's so many reasons to be burnt out and we need to give them so much more credit for like what they're dealing with on a daily basis. It is like the hardest things that we look at in our world and they're dealing with it hour after hour after hour, day after day after day. And, um, you know, this, that'll be a whole nother episode if we really want to get into that or, you know, you let me know. I don't need to get there. So that's it. I'm, I'm not going to say I'm not going to part four because I don't know how pe what people are going to say, but I just really wanted to add that in there because I do feel like because of that video that I watched, they were literally trying to prevent stories like what happened to mine. So I don't want to act like, I don't know if they're doing something. I don't know that for every county or all around the world, but specifically the county that I had this happen to me. I watched a video saying like, we don't want that to happen to kids. So disclaimer, that's all. <laughs>